For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingeman. Welcome to another edition of the uh, Focus program. My name is Paul Dingeman. Nice to have you along. As you can see, we are on location. Uh, very, very wonderful place. Uh, just on Range Road. It's a little little factory called Magna. And joining me now is the plant manager, Greg Ross. Nice to see you. Thanks for the invitation. Good to have you, Paul. Good to see you again. Uh, things are happening here. It's they it's uh, you and I talked four or five months ago, and uh, from that point, it's exploded. Yeah, it is. We've got a big expansion going on. We've got the launch starting up now on the initial building and we've got another 740,000 square foot addition going. 740,000. Yeah. yeah, another addition with 740,000 square feet. So we got a lot going on. Uh, since the last time we talked, originally you were going to just supply a part to the Hummer. Or yeah, can I right. say what your where your to General Motors. General Motors, platform. General Motors. Correct. Now that order has expanded. That's correct. They've asked for additional capacity, so we're here to support that. We're uh, supplying the battery tray for the truck program. Uh, okay. You are a 30-year-plus employee of this company. I know that you like it. Tell me about it. Yeah, this, I've been with Magna 20 years, actually. Okay. Uh, very good, good company. I've been with them in, in Canada up until two years ago. I joined this team on this project. Uh, very good company, a lot of investment in future, a lot of training. We're hoping to offer a lot of good technical jobs, and I obviously like this company. Uh, the employees that are coming, one of the things I like is the fact that uh, somebody can graduate from high school here in St. Clair or Marine City or Marysville, and they can stay. They don't have to go out of the city anymore. Yeah, that's one of the, the best parts of my chats with the team members is to hear where they're from and and I get to hear a lot more people coming from five minutes away and Greg my commute is is five minutes and that's awesome to hear or if they come out of high school and they don't know what they want to yeah. do we'll, we'll bring them in and and show them what engineering looks like show them what robotics and programming and controls and then we'll help them get there we want to grow the community so uh, so at, at, at full capacity uh, a year or two from now You'll have over a thousand employees. Over eleven hundred employees on site. Marvelous. Absolutely yeah, marvelous. it's and we're hoping to to help people grow as well. If they wanna if they wanna get their education. Oh really? We'll help with the education. We'll help them with the trades. Uh, we're gonna have to grow, and and if we can offer opportunities for someone that maybe just doesn't know what they want yet and wants to grow into something, we'll help them. Um, Plus that, you are a community member. You, you support all sorts of stuff. You're supporting the offshore race. Yep. You're supporting uh, ZTCTV. Yep. Uh, you want to be part of the community. Absolutely. We want to make a big impact. Obviously, it's a, a, a large facility, a large company. We come into the community and we want to be part of it. We want to support the grassroots programs and, and not only with jobs, but also with support. And We've got a fantastic support in Pauline. She's very engaged yeah. in the community. Uh, we're a little busy right now trying to get out in the community is tough, but I, I hope to be able to get out more. But with Pauline, we, she does a fantastic yeah. job. So. All right. We're, what, what is going on here today? Today we're doing the walk 6K walk for water, so we're trying for water. to water for water. Yeah, trying to raise money uh, so that everybody deserves clean water. Yeah. So we're we're raising money to help make sure that globally every kid can have water. They wow. deserve water. They need water. So we're here, and then it offers us an opportunity to show off a little bit, put some bouncy castles for the kids and Hot Wheels, and the Flurb team is here. That's really cool to be able to let them show off what they've done. They've accomplished a lot with their team yeah. and then some of our kids get to see that and maybe someday they'll come to Magna. And YMCA is even here. YMCA is here as well, yeah, that's true. So really showing off the community, bring the community in. Uh, this is not smell -a vision but you and I are standing in front of a grill yep. that the, they've been doing onions and potatoes in the, yeah. and the aurora is just wonderful. Yeah, it's fantastic. And they were cooking bacon and eggs this morning, so <laughs> we're a little spoiled. A little spoiled. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, we're gonna go around and interview some of the people and uh, uh, see how the, how the Magna people are. Yep, absolutely. Thanks and welcome back. 
Joining us now is a world famous man by the name of Edward Smith. Nice well, to see you. We, we have a fantastic TV man here, Paul ah. Damon. How are you? See? Let's talk about Edward Smith and what your summer looks like, what your, what your race season looks like this year. We've got a beautiful boat behind us here. Yes, we do. And uh, we actually start out in two weeks. We're going to Lake of the Ozark for our first race. Um, I couldn't make it to the Florida races the first thing this spring because we're so busy launching boats. And uh, But we start in Lake of the O, and then we'll continue on through. And then we'll be in St. Clair. Magna's going to come on down to St. Clair. Uh, I understand that they're sponsoring the event. And uh, they're also sponsoring us with the boat. And we're going to turn wow. around and we're going to do a big deal for uh, the people in town. Does Pauline get to go ride? <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, I got to sit in it last year, so. Yeah. Did well, you get a ride last year? Uh, no. Oh. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to see about what how yes. that happens. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I'm I'm sure that uh, she'd have to drive, because uh, I wouldn't you know, for her to throttle the boat. Nothing nothing personal, but it, it's a little bit tricky to hang on to that thing. Edward, let's talk about your career. How many years you've been in racing? Twenty eight, I believe. And the race here in St. Clair, the uh, St. Clair River Classic has been going on about the same amount of time. Yes, I started racing the year after they started. So that's when I started. And you've had uh, numbers of boats. Who's your sponsor now? Actually, um, there's a, what have we got, 20, 21 sponsors now? Wow. Yeah, 21 sponsors. Um, all sm I don't have a how would you want to say a one corporate Major. sponsor? Yeah. Um, I own the boat myself, and uh, with the 21 other sponsors, we turn around and we make it go, and everything works great. It's always spectacular uh, that last weekend in July, when you come along the boardwalk and spray the people, which the Coast Guard doesn't like. Uh, no, they don't like that at all. I get scolded, but. Hey, what the heck? <laughs> you know, you still got to be a kid once in a while. That's right. That's right. Right. And you, you've been famous for being a kid for all your life. Well, they've told me I haven't grown up yet, so <laughs> I'm not going to. Well, thanks for coming out to the Magnus party today. It, and it certainly is a, a wonderful addition to the community. It is. And I have to thank Magna because Magna is it's a fantastic corporation. I'll tell you, this, this plan is spectacular. I got a chance last year to go on a tour. I understand we're not doing it this year, but when I went on a tour in there, I'm gonna tell you what, there is some high tech equipment in this building. Well, one of the things I think is that is really exciting is that people can stay here after they get out of high school. They can stay in the community. Oh, absolutely. And everything is in here. I mean, you've got the kids that, that do the, the tech stuff, when I go on in here and I see it, it's called a robot pit, a robot the, or pit? the robot cage where all the robots are. Okay. Yeah. When I when I see these cages in here with all the machines running, and they're running it from a laptop, it absolutely just blows my mind. <laughs> well, you love motors and you love engines and you love fast stuff. Yep. And that's all here. It's all here, especially when you got machines making machines. It's it's absolutely incredible. Edward, good luck this summer. Thank you. We'll be back with our next guest in a second. As we tour the parking lot of uh, Magna uh, plant here in uh, Long Range Road, we ran into an old friend by the name of Josh Chapman. Nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you, Paul. How are you this morning? YMCA is here, and why are you here? Ah. Well, we're having, you're, we're having fun, so we're, uh, we're helping Magna. We're doing... We've got things for the kids uh, showing off our Why on the Fly program. So our free program, we go off through the county and uh, pop up, pull out stuff, and let go, kids play. Go back, go back. Well, what program was that? That's Why on the Fly. So Why on the Fly. Yes, I sir. love it. Everything the Why does, we throw it in our van, and we take it to, to parks where kids have all the equipment. They can just show up and have fun and, and, and play. That's something new. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've been doing it uh, two years now, so it's uh, we're 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 thinking that we kind of know what we're doing now. You also have come to St. Clair with a, a new product called 
Warm World. I can't get used to the name. Talk to me about the name. Yeah. So our Warm World uh, preschool and child care education campus is uh, slated to open at Eddie Elementary. So our final inspection is Monday. So hopefully we'll have a big announcement in our opening date. But we're looking to help ease the child care crisis that we're facing in our county. So a lot of folks can't get back to work. Um, you know, marginalized populations um, don't have access to high quality child care. And as you know, Paul, you know, the it starts early. So we want to make sure that kids are in a loving, safe environment so they can be as uh, prepared as possible for academic success when they get to K-12. So it's in the Eddy Center, which is the old Eddy Elementary. Great use of the facility. you got a bunch of rooms there. And what age uh, do you start and what age do you finish with the children? So we start, uh, we'll start with six weeks and we'll go all the way up six weeks. Six Br weeks old. Brand new. They're opening their eyes. They're getting it all figured out. So we'll start with six weeks and we'll go to five years old um, right before they go to kindergarten. And so actually there used to be a preschool. Um, and so we've occupied that space, revamped it, refreshed it, and uh, we'll open it back up. The name is unique, Warm World. That's sort of a... I, I got my arms around you and I'm going to make the world happy. That's And that's what we do every day. So we've been, Warm World has been a, a staple of our institution for, for decades now. Um, our old child care director had my wife as a student in Warm World. No. Yeah, so it's, it's been around that long. Um, so we're, we're, ex, we're happy to expand that, uh, that, that, that program to the southern part of the county. Okay, what else is coming up for the YMCA in St. Clair County? Yeah, so we're... The Blue Water YMCA. The, the, yep, so we're, uh, we're really excited. We're going to be doing um, classes on the plaza again in Port Huron. So we're going to be offering 24 classes uh, throughout the week at the plaza all summer long, June through September. Last year we served over 700 people, so we're really excited about providing access to, to healthy living and programs to uh, make people more well. We've got our summer day camp program, so for parents that are looking for something for their kids to do, um, just from an enrichment perspective or they need somewhere for their kids to go um, in terms of so they can go to work and, and do things like that. We're, we're excited for that and just doing the uh, the fun stuff that we do at the Y as you hear the music in the background, yeah. um, dancing and, and, and just being a, a strong community together. Uh, how about swim lessons? Yes, we, we have our swim lessons. Uh, they're, they're rocking. We're serving about 300 um, children every eight weeks. So if you want to get in swim lessons, they are a hot commodity. So go to bluewaterymca.com now and, and register and get your spot. Mr. Chapman, always a pleasure. It's a pleasure, Paul. Nice to Talk see to you. Talk to you soon. We'll be right back. Well, we've moved along to a thing that's called FURB. I got the guy that came up with that title, Mr. Steve Tenniswood from uh, RISA. What is FURB? FURB is a first robotics team for East China School District. We have students from both Marine City High School and St. Clair High School. Um, this year we have nine students that are on the team and uh, we went on and won our first event this year at St. Joseph's, Michigan. Uh, what's the connection with Magna? Magna is one of our, our primary sponsors. And we're excited to have Magna on board and all the, the help and uh, support and assistance that they give the team throughout the year. I, I just think it's marvelous that, uh, and I, I interviewed uh, Greg Ross here a couple of minutes ago, uh, that now we have a place for young high school people, young college people who can stay in St. Clair County. Yep, that's correct. They can uh, you know, go through a first team go off and get their degree and now with Magna being in St. Clair County there's a place for them to come in and have a job in in a tech field um, programming robots and and so forth inside the facility that's pretty amazing inside yeah, the really facility is. the robots are awesome you've been doing this five years six eight, years eight this eight is our years. eighth year yep eighth year it's amazing that it's gone by really fast working with the kids is incredible What's this one behind us here? The robot we have behind is our competition robot from this year. Um, so when we won our first event at, and it picks up these orange cones, or these yellow cones on the floor, and little purple square inflatable cones, and they, it has to travel across the field and deliver them at a scoring location. And the higher you put the object on the scoring grid, the more points you score. Higher. In elevation. Uh, in elevation. Yep, and distance, sticking and, and pushing it out in distance. And then over there you got a spaceman. Yep, the two robots out with the flamingo and the spaceman, those are our parade robots, they're our demonstration robots. Uh, we bring those and let the kids drive them around. 
Or if we're doing a programming camp, we can teach kids to program those robots to do autonomous actions or even just drive like they are now. How many students are involved from both schools? Um, we have nine kids this year. Um, we limit the team for, to 15, so we maintain a very high mentor to student ratio. Um, we I like that, a high mentor relationship to the students. That's, that's great. Yeah, and that, that's part of our philosophy is we want the students to be connected yeah. to a professional in their field. And by keeping the team small, it's a lot of the mentor to student, a lot of times is a one-on-one -on -one um, relationship. The, the mentor will work with the student teaching them how to do an operation or, or how to CAD or CNC a part correctly and then as the student's skills uh, uh, grow then the student will start doing that and the mentor will be the assistant and then eventually we want to get to a mode where the student is autonomous and they can design and manufacture the part without any mentor involved and then we just sit back and, and critique and offer support. What age do they become eligible to be come on the team and to how do they, how do they register how do they get involved? So to get involved you just need to send me an email at steven.tenniswood at gmail.com or call me at 810-289-9013. We say that number again for television. <laughs> we'll put our screen up. It's 810-289-9013. It's the best way to contact yeah. me. And then we can get your student out to um, visit our practice facility and see if the student and the parents are a fit for the team. Uh, we limit the team to eighth through 12th graders. Um, eighth, eighth, grade. eighth grade, yeah. We will take some eighth graders um, if they're very interested in, in robotics or programming. So if I'm an eighth grader, do I stay with the team for four years? You get to stay with the team if you're an eighth grader, you'll be with the team for five years. Oh. Yep. If you're in a, the middle college program, yeah. you could actually be with us for six years. Okay. My senior, my driver for this robot is in the um, tech middle college, and uh, he graduated or graduates next year um, with his degree, um, but I get him for, for five years, which is pretty amazing. Steve Tenniswood, I'm real proud of what you're doing for all these kids. It's, it's wonderful to give them the inspiration and and you get you find them with a with a passion for something and you're exploring expanding that for them yep giving kids opportunities that's my wife brenda and i that's that's our passion is yep. exposing kids to opportunities right. you know whether it be you know for college or a tech degree or a certificate or you know, just anything. We want students to have experiences so they can figure out and make a plan for, for life and going forward. And Magna's uh, giving you a hand. That's right. I can't do it without my, my sponsors. And Magna is, is very important to the operation of my team. Good. Steve, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Nice meeting you or seeing you again. Not what was your name, you. buddy? We'll be right back. Joining me now is Matt Fair. Matt, nice to meet you, and nice meet you. and you've got a quite a display here of Hot Wheels. What's going on? And I understand you're an employee of Magna too. Yes, sir. Um, started with the company uh, a couple weeks ago. I'm uh, new, but background in uh, laser welding robotics. So uh, we what? had a family day event coming up, and I let them know that I got a Hot Wheels truck and display for kids. You know, it helps attract the kids to uh, good events. So, what attracted you to employment here? Uh, new facility and uh, great company, and uh, heard they're doing a lot of laser robot welding, and that's my background. So, I'm a system maintenance manager. And it's a, it's just an expanding world here. I mean, the, with the new addition, it'll be more employees, uh, more laser work. Yeah, a lot more. We're suspected to be uh, the largest laser uh, facility in the U North America, supposedly. That's so amazing. We're That's gonna amazing. have up to uh, 100 uh, robotic cells. Wow. Just under about 97 cells. Well, let's talk about Hot Wheels. How'd yeah. you get involved in Hot Wheels? Uh, I've been a collector of Hot Wheels for uh, about 30 years, if not more. And uh, at home, I have 80,000 Hot Wheels. Oh, oh. No, wait a minute. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> yep. 80,000? Yes, 80,000. I'm looking for I a got, building. You got you to build a bigger house. Yep. Yep. 
looking for a building to put them in to make a museum and uh, make a birthday venue for kids and that. Great idea. For parties. Idea. Yep. How in the heck did you, you what, how young were you when you started collecting? I, I've been collecting as, since I've been a kid, but major doing uh, a lot of collecting within uh, you know, the last 30 years. I bought them just because I bought all uh, Dodge products. Yeah. We're a Dodge family. And uh, this is my father's truck, and he bought it. He retired from G uh, Chrysler uh, 37 years. And uh, when he passed away, we put his casket in the bed of the truck, give him his last oh, ride. that's wonderful. That's and then wonderful. my mom just passed this January, so we put her in the bed of the truck, her casket, give her wonderful. last ride. Wonderful. And i uh, just been collecting Hot Wheels. I do all the conventions and that. And uh, it's something good I created for the kids, the uh, Hot Wheels racetrack and that. And uh, Magna bought the Hot Wheels this show. Normally I uh, supply them and either sell them or give them to the kids. But Magna bought the Hot Wheels and we're giving them to the kids. I just brought the track and everything for the kids to race. Is there a special Hot Wheel that everybody wants to have? Uh, the, or just a bunch? The rare collectible ones are the pink ones. The pink. Yes, the wow. ir iridescent pink and the red lines. The old original red line Hot Wheels. Because back in the day, what kid wanted a pink Hot Wheel? They were the ones that got destroyed. They got firecrackers put in them and got hit by uh, hammers and that. <laughs> So, but them are the rarest Hot Wheels, the red line, pink Hot Wheels. It's, it's very interesting to talk to people and yeah. find out a niche that they love, and yeah. whether it's uh, wood boats or, or uh, sailboats or, or anything, and you've you got one that's called Hot Wheels. Yeah. Really cool. Yep. And this is an actual real Hot Wheel truck. They uh, made 180 of these trucks, Big Daddy Don Garlitz did a limited edition. And this truck is number 55 of 180 made, and they made 10,000 Hot Wheels of it. Give me one second. Yep. I'll show you. This is this is the actual real Hot Wheel of the truck. Oh my! Yeah, show it to the and uh, the designer signed it, and uh, Don Garlitz signed it. I had uh, the truck in uh, Florida, at Big Daddy Don Garlitz Museum, and he signed the dash and signed under the hood, and he drove the truck. I wanted to make sure he drove it so I could say yeah. that he drove it. I got pictures of him in the vehicle and that. So That's just marvelous. Well, yeah. we're glad you're here at uh, Magna in, yeah. in St. Clair. And uh, what an interesting, interesting hobby. Yep. Good for the community. And we got a lot of great jobs and opportunities for young kids and new employment. Okay. Thank you much. Yep, nice to meet you. Met you. Well, we are with Pauline, and Pauline, talk to me about this day. It's really been wonderful. It really has. Um, this is our global 6K for water for Magna International. So all across the globe, uh, we have our uh, Magna Walkers for World Vision. Um, we are the largest corporate sponsor and uh, for this walk. This year we had 97 walkers, so that will help provide uh, water for 97 uh, people. Really? Yes. Wonderful. Talk to me about Magna, uh, and I, this, I, I just didn't prepare you for this question, but it is worldwide, and how many thousands of employees, right, kind of thing? Oh, I don't have the... That's an unfair the, question. Yeah. We're in 27 different countries. That's what I that's Okay. What I, <laughs> and today has been a wonderful one for the families of the, the new employees here at, in St. Clair. Yes, yeah, so today was our um, em employees could bring family and friends actually out for the walk and then we also had our family fun day today um, which has been a great event and we have a great team of volunteers that help put this on. So, Well it's been a, it's been a nice day, a family day uh, and, and then the, in the interviews I've done uh, the people all are saying what a great place to work. Absolutely, yes. This Magna is a, a great place. They really care about their employees. Um, we have great leadership here and just a team that really cares about uh, the employees and their families that everybody goes home safe every day. Great. Now we're going to join uh, the Magna plant manager, Greg Ross, and he's going to do the awards ceremony for the uh, safety poster contest. And I tell you, it blew my mind how awesome the, the entries were. So everybody that put a poster in, you guys did a fantastic job. 
And what we decided to do was hand out some yeah. some money to the winners, and it was hard to choose. Everybody got to vote, and it was really hard to choose the winners, but we were able to come down to it through a vote from the entire plant. And we've got a little something for you, so we'll call you up one at a time. Charlie uh, Zalagi. Zalagi. $250. How's that for a cool check? You like that? We'll get a picture. Polly, where's Polly? Can you take a picture, Polly? Let's come over here. So you got to draw a poster of safety because you care about your family, right? You want them to be safe when they come to work, and I want them to be safe and go home and see you. So thanks for putting a poster together for us. Good job. Jennifer's going to give you a card too. You get to keep this check. You want to take that with you? Is that cool? I'll let you take it. Can you carry it? Awesome. So next one we next winner we have is Cheyenne. So Cheyenne put a poster together for us. Thanks for doing that. So we've got $250 for you as well. Good job and thanks for putting that together. Evan Cooley. And I think I remember this one, Evan. I think I have a sticker on my helmet and it came from you. And I think I owe you a quarter as well. <laughs> You can get a lot of stickers with $250, eh? <laughs> Very good job. Oh, got it. Don't forget your card. So now second place. So $250 for Kimberly Walker. Good job. I mean, don't forget your card, but thank you for making a poster for us. Last but not least, we have first place and a little check for $500. Wow. Oh, Look at that, you're excited. You know what I'm excited about? You made a really cool poster. First place, $500. Yes. Yay! Are you going to go to Disneyland? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> An RC car, that's very cool. There you go, buddy. Congratulations. So thanks to all the winners, and we gave some money away. Hopefully you get to buy something nice with your winnings. But I'll tell you, we win more than you guys do because this team is important to me. So your posters are going to stay up on our wall, and they're going to stay there until next year. So they're going to stay there for a whole year. That's going to be our safety walk. And then the winners, so everyone that got a check, we're going to make your posters into prints. And we're going to throw them up throughout the plant so that everybody can see how important they are to you. So that's important because when they don't listen to me, I know they're going to listen to you because you're important to them. So we're going to put your posters up, up through the plant and we'll send you some pictures. So thanks for the posters and congratulations. Well, that's about it for this edition of the uh, Focus Program. Thanks very much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Paul Dingaman. See you soon. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.